Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and today I'm really excited to finally be able to tell you about a, a technology that my team was developing for the better part of a year. Um, it's a system for the cannabis industry to track product from, from that biomass all the way through to the consumer, um, to the product the consumer's holding, so that they can determine that the product is legitimate that the thing that they're holding has not been counterfeited or that it's not bootleg product or black market product. So unless you've been living under a rock for the last year, you heard, you've been hearing on the news about people getting sick and hurting themselves consuming cannabis products. And uh, I would say there's really very little argument that the main, the main reason for that problem is that there's not very much regulation in that industry yet. And so I want to show you right now. I can right now in North Carolina go right up the street to my local CBD store and I can buy all these different products you know there's all these different products on the market today um, that are completely legal these are completely legal cannabis products um, these all happen to be CBD products because that's what's legal in North Carolina but something like 15 states and I, I think are, are, are legal recreationally. I think there's something like 20 something states legal medically. So for actual THC products, and then you have this whole other industry, which is all hemp products, right? You've got the textiles and ropes and oils, um, industrial oils and stuff like that. So let me show you right now, all of these products suffer from this one fatal flaw, in my opinion, this fatal, fatal flaw, fatal and no pun intended, but it is that when I buy these products, whether it be a whether it be a joint or it be a, some oil that I'm gonna put in a vape pen and smoke, you know they've gone through they've gone through the trouble of having this lab tested. Just CBD has a website, justcbdstore.com, and they've gone ahead and had this tested. And if I scan this QR code, I can pull up a PDF. But watch this. This is the fatal flaw. I'm gonna open this up. Right. I'm just gonna open this up, pop it open, grab a hold of it. Right? Now, this thing here has absolutely no, there's no way for me to determine that this thing here is what it says it is. Once I've taken it out of the package. Now, once I take it out of the package, let's say I was a nefarious character and I wanted to buy a bunch of these and put this back in this package. Put this back in this package. I've just maybe they're maybe they're half the price and they're not they're not the same quality. And I can just I've just there's n almost no consumer protection in this industry right now. Like, same thing with this joint. I can open this joint up, pop it open. This thing here, unfortunately, there was really no protection in regards to the consumer, so that. These might cost $10 a piece and someone can fill it up with something that costs $2 a piece. It could be full of pesticides. I would have no way of knowing that. That's the problem. So I wanted to address the problem first. The problem is that these products could be counterfeit. You know, this gummy, this package could be a package from China. And I'm going to show you right here. Alibaba.com will be happy to sell you, you know, they'll sell you 50,000 units of, cart of these cartridges. And you can buy, you know, you could buy... Right here, you can buy the oil to put it in. In, in. in other words, you can create these things and flood the black market and that the consumer has absolutely no protections right now. So my team, we've been researching and developing a technology where we utilize the blockchain actually to verify products, to authenticate products at the consumer level. So let me break this down for you really quick. Um, why would someone not counterfeit your product, right? So, so what are you doing as a manufacturer to prevent someone right to to make them to make them um, to make them not want to counterfeit your product so a hundred dollar bill is the best example I think what does the government do to a hundred dollar bill to make sure that it's not easily counterfeited right well they do all kinds of stuff there's like something like 15 different security features built right into a hundred dollar bill you know when I go to an ATM machine, and I withdraw $100 from the ATM machine, I don't grab that out of the ATM machine and hold it up to the light and check the watermark, right? I mean, I can feel that it's legit and I got it from a reliable source, so I'm pretty sure that it was real and I stick it in my wallet and I go spend it. Well, if ever I, if ever I was worried that this was not a legitimate 
bill, there's a number of things I can do to try and verify its authenticity. I can, you know, I can hold it up to the light. I see that there's the bell. There's all these different security features. But then there's even security features that they don't tell us about, right? Like I can hit this with a starch pen, and if it has a certain color mark, I can determine that it's counterfeit or that it's real. Um, there's the serial number, right? So, so let's say a huge batch of hundred dollar bills comes um, gets counterfeited on the black market and we know that it's a certain series of bills well we can flag those that series of bills for counterfeit and so there's all these things we do to make sure it's real but there's almost there's very little or almost nothing that we're doing to these products to make sure that they're real so the first thing that Legitibus is going to do when we are when we are working with a manufacturer on these anti counterfeiting um, on implementing these any counterfeiting strategies is that every situation is going to be a little bit different but that in research and development, we've come up with a very robust blockchain-based system for verification. And why the blockchain? So here, here's a Rolling Stone article. Counterfeit, counterfeit weed vape cartridges are everywhere and they're making people sick. So this is a real problem. You know, here, right here I wanted to show you. There, here's a dozen articles in, on Google about bootleg marijuana vapes, bootleg marijuana, um, vaping illness, you know, uh, vitamin E oil in, their, in, in these cartridges. You know, um, um, poisonous puff, vaping marijuana is poison puff. So this is a trending problem right now in this industry. Um, anyway, why the blockchain? Why the blockchain? What makes the blockchain so special? Let me show you. Embedded in the blockchain are transactions. These transactions, oops, these transactions on the blockchain represent tiny bits of information flowing back and forth through what are called nodes. So right now the Bitcoin blockchain has something like 10,000 full nodes running. That's 10,000 trusted sources reporting the ledger so that when a transaction appears on the blockchain it could never be counterfeited or duplicated. It can't be changed in any way. It's a permanent record that can be found you know, in theory, this blo the blockchain has been around since some something like 2008, so for more than 10 years, in theory that it will be around forever. So, look, my company found a way, Legitimus found a way to communicate with your brand name, right? And here's the proof of concept. Legitimus found a way to communicate with your brand name on the blockchain and embed that product information into this transaction so that it's time-stamped and dated and that... for and that that cannot be altered in any way so that if in the future you have a recall you have it could be you could have a recall for counter because maybe your product was counterfeited and it's been um, flooded in the black the black market's been flooded with your products and that you want to recall them it could be because there's been an error in um, maybe clarity or maybe um, quality so you want to make a recall it could be that the shelf life it, that the product has been on the market for longer than its intended shelf life there's a lot of reasons why a product an investigator, a manufacturer, and a consumer should be able to verify the authenticity of a product. There's a lot of reasons. So the blockchain side of it, that's all I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you the details and the nitty gritty and how do we do it and what do we put in there and why do we put it in there. Because that's secret proprietary information that I'm going to share with each manufacturer so that we can implement these anti-counterfeiting techniques. But what's very important for you to understand is that it's possible now. It's completely 100% proof of concept, done, ready to go, ready to implement into your manufacturing processes. You can track a plant, the biomass that comes from a plant, whether it be the buds or the oils or the, the seeds, track that all the way through your supply chain to the consumer so that the consumer ends up with a product that has any counterfeit measures built in and the final the actual thing that they're consuming is verifiable and that is it's been authenticated on the blockchain so I'm really excited about that you guys and I'm surprised it only took me about nine minutes to tell you about it but one more, one more thing I just want to I wanted to touch on and I just didn't really quite get a chance because I'm flying a mile a minute here North American cannabis industry is growing in the multiple billions so by the end of 2019 it's supposed to be something like a $16 billion industry. Um, folks, I don't think there's any doubt that it's our responsibility as cannabis manufacturers to secure these products 
at, to the tune of $16 billion a year of, of product that is being directly consumed by human beings. And I think it's our responsibility to make sure that we do everything we can to ensure that that thing that you're holding that you bought from my company really is from my company. It really contains the product that I put so much time and effort into, into making sure that it was high quality, pesticide free and safe for my consumers. So you guys, please check out legitimus.com. I mean, this is a, a, the website's growing, but the product is ready to go. I'm in the talks right now with two CBD manufacturers. We're working on, we're just work ironing out the details of implementation and it won't be long. It will not be long, ladies and gentlemen, before you go to your store to buy your cannabis products and that you will find any counterfeit technologies on that product and blockchain authentication um, technology backing that product so that you can consume it with confidence knowing that you're not going to get sick and, or uh, get a disease or get sick or die. Okay, So thank you so much for coming back. Uh, I'm mad at my web bro. Please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's the first thing I'd love for you to do. You can check us out at daswow.com. That's the agency, the web development agency um, that developed Legitibus. That's where we do uh, web development, search engine optimization, pay-per-click campaigns. Of course, you've got legitibus.com we talked about and trafficisourjam.com where we offer turnkey solutions for business owners to help them uh, get a better footprint on the internet. Thank you so much for coming back and hearing me out. Have a great day. Bye.